Almost every time when I'm showing the gaming dashboard on my LG G2 to demonstrate or analyze frames per seconds like here in Gran Turismo 7, I'm getting comments like, you can't do that. And my answer is always, yes I can. Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. So let me quickly explain what I'm talking about or what actually the comment writer talking about or referring to because they're actually claiming that this value here right now 90 fps is not correct but i can assure that's that's how it is we have right now 90 fps in this game believe it or not gran turismo 7 in the unlocked fps mode runs in around 80 to 100 or even higher frames per second and that's how it is this is right now absolutely correct and why i can easily explain and i don't want to go into much details but this value right now is absolutely correct there's just one thing what we need to consider to make sure that this is actually really the right number so the content or the game must operate within the vrr range from the console and the tv and in case of the playstation 5 and my lg g2 that's 48 hertz or fps up to 120 hertz or fps and why i'm saying hertz and fps at the same time there's a reason for it because when the game is operating within the vr range from console and tv refresh rate and frames per seconds are exactly the same that means right now we have roughly let's say 90 fps that means the refresh rate from the screen is also 90 hertz 90 hertz or 90 fps right now absolutely the same because this is what vrr is doing with hindi vrr range that's why it is called variable refresh rate okay outside the vrr range of course that's a complete different story because outside the vrr range we would talk about something called lfc low frame rate compensation and then we would need to talk about frame doubling frame tripling so in this case yes outside the vrr range this is absolutely not correct anymore but this is not the case here we are within the vr range and therefore this number is absolutely correct okay my friends thank you very much for watching me this video was about the dashboard on the lg g2 and again the same counts for the cx the freezing information there's no difference at all the freezing information the only difference is it's showing yeah the value in hertz but again I told you already, when we are within the VR range, then Hertz and FPS is exactly the same. So it really doesn't matter if here is uh, labeled FPS or Hertz because we know what we're talking about, okay? So I failed to do this video because I'm getting not a lot of comments, but when I'm getting comments, I'm not getting very kind or very um, helpful comments. Let's say like this, okay? Very mean comments actually that I actually, well, something like I don't know what I'm doing and why you're not asking Digital Foundry um, to show you how to do it. And yeah, I mean, they're doing exactly the same. When it comes to VRR material, they're doing the same what I'm doing. Filming from a screen like the LG G2 or Samsung or whatsoever, where you have a yeah, VRR information like that. The only main difference is what I found between Digital Foundry and my channel. I have the much better picture quality. Thank you very much for watching me. I'll see you next time. Bye.